Yeah, I think with Easter too, it's it's really an opportunity to have a resurrection in the mind, and in Course in Miracles terms, to accept the atonement, which is really the end of the belief in sacrifice. It's only this ego belief in sacrifice that has tainted and colored even the the crucifixion story. Uh, somehow that that there was the Son of God that had to sacrifice his life for the, the sins of mankind and so forth. That, that sacrifice belief has, has tainted everything. It's even tainted the, the events and the story in a sense. It's a, it's a misinterpretation of the meaning that was being taught through the resurrection, which is just one of pure innocence, one of knowing your I am presence, knowing that you are a perfect child of God. A beautiful message, really, that, that was intended, and then the ego, with its upside-down perception, has twisted even uh, the events surrounding the, the crucifixion and the resurrection. What we'd like to do is start to have a greater and greater awareness that everything is mind. So there's a part in A Course in Miracles where Jesus says, you have reacted for years as if you are being crucified. Uh, what does he mean by that? Every time we get upset, we feel unfairly treated. We feel somebody has cheated us or not given us the attention that we deserve any kind of sense of misgiving, any kind of irritation, annoyance, any kind of grievance or long-standing grievance is reacting as if you're being crucified, which is just reacting as if the belief in sacrifice is real. Somehow that somebody's going to have to pay for this somewhere down the line. And um, oftentimes that's part of the upside down uh, perception of of Jesus somehow that he he had to give his life as a ransom for the sins of mankind. Even that word ransom involves pay. You know, someone's got to pay. Someone's got to pay for the wrongdoing, for the price of of separation. And really, what we're learning is is that. The separation is a false belief that has to just be completely released, as does sacrifice, because God doesn't know of sacrifice, God doesn't know of condemnation, and even from the Aramaic, sin was, was defined as missing the mark. Not a black mark on your soul, but missing the mark. And if you were using a, a, a target analogy, you know, the point would be to hit the mark, to hit the target. And so our focus is, is not on missing anything or missing the mark, but it's, it's on, on hitting the target, which is our correction in mind. We're not trying to deny error, it's, it's to go so deeply into it together to have an experience that the, the error is not real. We are not bound by error. We are free in truth, but not bound by error.